that is one of the questions that I get asked the most. And I tell them honestly, it's the same thing as saying, I want to find a husband. It's just not something that you can actually go out there and say, you know, I want a husband today. I want a tech co-founder today. It just happens. I mean, you need to be out there and you need to be, you know, telling everyone about your idea. And when one of them believes in your idea and believes in you, then you found the right, the right person. In this space, you really need someone who believes in the product. So when you're speaking to someone, when you're interviewing someone, it's not always only about their, their competence, what they've done, their experience. It's a process. So what we're doing now is we're going out with those people, we're having coffees, it's, we're taking our time identifying the, the, the right people because it's very critical at, at this stage. I found that the best people that we've hired are the ones that are able to kind of take a whole subject under their wing, you know, a whole job function or whatever it is, and they just make it their own. One of the guys I can think of in particular, our creative director, came on board and he decided that we should change our name. And it took us six months, and I'm pretty sure we dug our heels in, you know, most of the way. And Dan, through his kind of initiative and leadership and vision, uh, was able to take us on that journey and help us to achieve that. And I think those are the best people, the people that do things that you don't even know you need. The first 10 people that you hire in, in your company are essentially going to be defining the culture of the company. So you want to make sure that the first 10 that you get are just the right set of people. We're a team of five, five from five different countries, five different backgrounds, so it's a very diverse team. We are all really believing in, in connecting the creative industries. It's about finding that chemistry really, about making creators happy and connecting the creative industries. Building the right team is really all about culture, right? We're a tech business, so we want to hire the best technical people as well, but the chemistry has to really be right and the culture piece has to really be right. Otherwise, um, you know, the, there isn't the right fit and there isn't the right alignment. What we've seen works really well is if they have empathy for our users. They understand who the end user is and um, how they would use the software. And that's been the biggest driver of us looking at new hires or people to join the team. I look for diversity. I want to ensure that the executive team believe in the product, can be users of the product, and have a diversity of character and experiences throughout their, uh, throughout their working life. It's like building a castle and you need the foundation of the castle to be strong. So you have the trust of the people with each other, then you have complementarity. You need people with different skill sets that are actually complementary with each other. And then the last one is the technical aspect and the knowledge that every person brings to the company. The key thing in your team is to always hire people better than you, otherwise you're doomed to fail. It's very important that someone has a drive, motivation to do something on their own because it's new challenges every day. It's not like a job. It's not structured. So you need to find your own path. No one is a superman. No one's superhuman. No one has every single characteristic that you need to build a growing business. It's about the balance in the team. So finding right partners is a bit about chemistry a bit about understanding their motives and their expectations from our business, um, a bit about what they bring and how we can add value.